What's up? Well, Matt, right here. Another uh, fight week here ahead of a Matt Score Garden fight. So I'm curious, uh, an old hat for you. You did this all last year or so. But what's been fight week? What's been preparation for you? Like, been like for you this camp? It's been amazing, man. Uh, I got two teammates on the card, Nazim and Dennis Bazooka. So it's like the energy at the gym has been unreal. We all feed off each other, you know, and uh, the slogan all camp has been not in our house. You know, Madison Square Garden is our house. We're all New Yorkers and we're ready to uh, protect our protect our homeland. You're obviously you're fighting Benoit saint denis who uh, after his last performance in Paris, a lot of fans online, you know, they're describing him as one of the most violent fighters uh, just in the division. So I'm curious when that name came across, a name that probably not a lot of people close to the top 15 or in the top 15 are taking, when his name came across, what went through your mind? It excited me. You know, I, I was ready to fight anybody at MSG. Um, but when they came with me with Benoit, that I just, I, I, I got excited. You know, that's what I want. I want to fight the boogeyman. I want to fight the guys that people don't want to fight. And, um, you know, his nickname is the God of War, but I'm going to show the world that he's just a man. Were there any other names that came across you? Because obviously we just assumed you would be fighting Patty either on this card or December. And then I think fans are excited for this fight, but it just kind of came as a surprise. No, no, no names, um, but I was ready for anybody at Madison Square Garden, and I was hoping for, uh, you know, an exciting fight, and even rankings aside, I don't care about these rankings. I want, I want the fights that excite me, and, and this fight does that. I'm curious, you, you're obviously riding this, this knockout streak, but it, before this streak, you d weren't scoring a ton of knockouts outside, like early in your career you did, so I'm curious, what change in camp if anything has led to this string of knockouts that we hadn't really seen from you in the UFC it has to be the the godfather of MMA Ray Longo himself the legend you know uh, he wanted me to really dial in on my boxing and um, we did that I always joke around with coach I'm like come on I got too many weapons just for hands but he really wanted me to uh, focus on the sweet science and um, you know I put all my trust in him I told him I want to be I told him make me the next Long Island champion, and uh, what he says I do, and uh, he hasn't led me the wrong way yet. Well, kind of going off of that, a lot of your finishes have come with your, your back to the fence and your opponents coming at you. So what specifically about that did maybe Ray see that this might be the opening that you specifically could take advantage of? Um, you know, he always wants me to work on my awareness and uh, being able to strike moving forward, backwards, and having good movement. And, uh, you know, we do movement every day and uh, just keep, keep drilling in and, uh, and training hard, and, and it's been paying off. Steve we're back here. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, so different story, uh, same story, different day. Uh, just like the Drew Dober fight, you are a heavy underdog going into this fight. Is this an added incentive just to you know, kind of prove people wrong and make casinos lose their money and people betting against you lose their money? You know, I've been an underdog my entire life. I thrive as the underdog, and I love it. You know, um, I've been overachieving my entire life too. Um, you know, nothing but hard work and grit. You know, I've, I was never the fastest, I was never the strongest, but um, I always worked my ass off and uh, wanted it more. And, and that's, that's, that's what I am, that's who I am, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do Saturday night. I saw you brought the boat with you, the best brother of all time, Cheese Roller. Uh, what advice did he give you, especially with such a, a, a layoff from, you know, from May to now and fighting another monster, another tough opponent? What advice did he give to you and support? Oh, you know, the Cheese Roller always makes, uh, makes me like videos and stuff and like breaks down my opponents. And then, and then I always show Ray and just Ray like laughs it off. Uh, but I mean, he helps me out a lot. Uh, you know, he, he's always helping me with my social media and um, you know, talking with me, and uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at without without him, without my dad, without my team, without my family. And um, I'm lucky to have it, and I'm I feel really blessed that I can you know share these experience with them. You know, every fight week, I got the peanut gallery running around with me, and uh, we're having fun with it.
So uh, one more question from me. From your last fight till now, um, obviously training at Ray Longo's gym, Murder's Row, and you have multiple teammates that are fighting on this card. Uh, what tools have you added to your arsenal? Is, can you give us a preview of coming attractions of what you're going to show off in this next fight? Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of weapons in the arsenal that I haven't been able to show, uh, you know, in the octagon. And I think that Benoit is a perfect opponent. You know, he's so well-rounded. You know, he's got... He's on a four-fight winning finishing streak with submissions and TKOs. Uh, and he's the, the perfect opponent that I could show all of my, my martial arts. You know, I, I'm a mixed martial artist, not just a heavy-handed brawler. And I'm ready to show that I have jiu-jitsu, I have wrestling, I have Muay Thai, and I have boxing. And um, the way that I put it all together in the octagon is what I do best and what comes most natural. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. How does it feel to be repping New York as the lone New York native of the main card? Dude, it feels great. You know, uh, I'm, I'm a New York born and bred. You know, I got Long Island blood pumping through my veins. And, uh, you know, I've, I've got bacon, egg, and cheese all over, you know, all in my body. Um, and uh, pizza, Sinelli's pizza just pumping, pumping in me. And uh, I'm going to go out there and represent uh, the New York people well. And then obviously, man, your opponent can take a lot of damage. I mean, his fight with EDS has been on display. The highlights of him just getting walked down and still standing. So you having knockout power, how do you go up against someone that can maybe take those punches over and over again? Like, what's the game plan if you're not able to shut his lights out? You know, um, I, every fight I'm prepared for a 15-minute war if it needs to be that. But, you know, that's what they said about Dober. Before I fought Dober, they said nobody knocked him out. And, I, and then I knocked him out. Before I fought Ottman, he was undefeated. I gave him his first loss. Before I fought Valdez, he was undefeated. Gave him his first loss. You know, that's what I do. I, 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 show, I show that the that, uh, impossible is possible. And um, that's what I'm going to do Saturday night. And then last one for me. I saw you tweeted that the, uh, the veteran shorts aren't happening. Any idea why that kit didn't uh, happen? No, I'm not sure uh, why, but I'm definitely I'm dedicating this fight to all the, the brave men and women out there who served our country and all the veterans out there. So I'm, I'm proud to fight on Veterans Day, and I'm, I'm dedicating that to all of them. Tough year for the Mets, huh? What did you, you say? Oh. Right, other side. Oh. Tough year for the Mets, huh? Oh, yeah, man. I don't want to talk about baseball. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.